Hello everyone, my name is Chase Dout and I'm a Zelle Orthopedics Marketing Director. I'm here with Dr. Schwarzbach and today we're going to learn a little bit about nerve testing. So uh, Dr. Schwarzbach is going to do some testing on me and we're going to see where this thing goes from here. So, Sure, sounds great. So let's hook up a few things. I guess well, as we're hooking it up I'll just mention a few things. You know, common reasons we do the test, for example, if someone has numbness and tingling in their hand or their arm or their feet or legs, so that would be a common thing we test for. Uh, conditions we're often looking for would include carpal tunnel syndrome uh, or an ulnar nerve or funny bone nerve at the elbow issue. Um, also, if someone has a pinched nerve in their neck or back, that's a common thing that this test looks for issues with. And additionally, a condition called peripheral neuropathy, where, for example, maybe the, the uh, nerves in the feet aren't working perfectly, and that's causing symptoms. So this test, it helps us figure out what's going on and often what degrees it's affected. For example, someone may have quite mild carpal tunnel or moderate severe carpal tunnel. And also the things that can mimic carpal tunnel, or there's even less common cases like I had the other day where someone happened to have carpal tunnel syndrome, they also had a pinched nerve in their neck, so they had two issues going on. So those are the kind of things we, uh, we often check for. So the test involves, uh, I make different marks, it has to do with different nerves at different distances because I take all the data we collect and make sense of it to determine what's going on. Um, for example, is the problem in the wrist or the arm or coming out of the neck or the same thing in the, in the leg and low back. So basically I take a little uh, stimulator. Um, it feels a little like a static electrical sensation. Uh, and then, so we stimulate with this device and we record with this and then sometimes we make calculations on the machine. So I'm going to stimulate a, a nerve here. You'll feel a funny little electric little tickle. impulse there. Yeah, and then we'll compare it to different nerves. And again, I compare all this. I know normal values and we also compare within uh, looks like you're going to live, so that is good. Um, so we compare different nerves here and see what's going on. So basically it's uh, stimulating different nerves and, and determining what is happening here. So it's not only just tingling, but it's also like a numb numb feeling too, yes. is what you would be looking for. Yeah, or pain, any of those, uh, any of those conditions. And yeah. about how long would you say someone would need to come in to, to do this kind of testing so the, on their own. Would you say, oh, you know, that's, you know, at what point would you say you need to have a nerve test done? Well, again, it looks for all the kind of conditions we were talking about. I would say anytime it's bugging them. I mean, sometimes people just want reassurance. Is it just a, you know, they can put up with it, but they want to know what's going on. Or sometimes it's getting to the point, it's like, man, I'm tired of dealing with this. It's waking me up at night. So kind of really whatever it's bugging them. You know? And say it were someone's fingers that were giving them a hard time. So does that mean, you, would you start at the hand and work your way around to find the problem? Because I guess sometimes it could be in your spine that could have a pinched nerve. Right, so sometimes we do complementary testing. Uh, we might do this, we might also consider x-rays and or MRI of the uh, you know cervical or lumbar spines. There also it helps because there's, there's Certain conditions can mimic others. For example, like a person may have arthritis at the base of the thumb, it can feel like carpal tunnel, but maybe it is just from arthritis at the base of the thumb. And this helps to determine does the person have, uh, you know, what issue is the primary uh, situation going on. So we're just doing a little more stimulating of nerves here. So, okay. and then we measure distances for some of these things and yeah. do some calculations. So. So that is the, you know, that's the biggest uh, part of the test there. Um, and then there is a second part that didn't take very long, uh, typically at all. And there's another part where we take a tiny little sterile disposable pin. It's not a needle, it's not how I like the needle, so it's not a needle, but it's a tiny little pin. And we pinch some muscles and it gives us more information, both about the nerves in the extremities, such as the arm and leg, as well as from the spine. And then who, who does these type of testings? So usually it's either a physical medicine or rehabilitation physician like myself or a neurologist sometimes also do the testing. Okay, and then once you kind of figure out the problem, then you can refer them to a... Yes, yeah, so if it's, for example, say someone comes in, it's tingling, I do the test, and it's like, well, good news, Chase, it's just mild. You know, we can con uh, conservatively treat it initially. We'll put you in a 
a wrist splint, if there's not a reason not to, put you on some medication to help with that, um, tell you do's and don'ts uh, as far as aggravating the symptoms. Uh, conversely, if it's severe and it's really bugging the heck out of you, waking up at night, well then yeah, I, I would get you set up with a colleague that does surgery that could fix it. Um, okay. And, or, or if it's something for your neck, it might be something that a shot in the neck might be helpful, or neuropathy, there's medicines that can help. So yeah, it definitely, it helps uh, pinpoint the treatment. So because, okay. I mean, the best thing in treatment is first identifying what is the problem uh, and then proceeding accordingly. And then you would say this test is probably 50% done, so it didn't take very long for no, this. So right. it usually uh, not a very long process for the whole thing. Right, that's okay. right, yeah. Awesome, all right. Well, thanks Dr. Schwartz Park for showing us Absolutely. how this works. And uh, if you guys have any kind of problems like that, then let us know, we'll be happy to help.